Before we talk to her uh, via Skype, let's take one last peek at Greta dealing with her ever-changing world. Check her out. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Ricky and I felt the same from the beginning. Let's take this pregnancy, enjoy it, and also take it day by day. Let's see what's meant to be. But now that we're this close, we have to have a birth plan. Hi. Hi. We decided that we want to give birth naturally. Yeah. <laughs> Scary, but true. <laughs> Has he moved a lot recently? Yeah, he's moved a lot. Where you are, actually. Remember I said, Ricky? Yeah. This is this has been actually aching me a little on this side. Yeah, because that's actually his head. What? Yeah. Are you f***ing me? No. What does that mean? Well, it means he's breech. Because she's saying his head is up here, that he flipped. I know, isn't that? It's, it's very hard. ironic. When my doctor told me the baby was breech, I, I think I just had all the blood drain out of my body for that moment. I, I, I'm so shocked. If you guys are really committed to trying to have the baby vaginally, we're going to try and turn him around, and there are a few things we need to talk about. Is this, dang is this dangerous for her? No, not at all. Not dangerous for the baby and not dangerous for her. The first thing that typically I'll recommend is that people go and get acupuncture. I know this sounds crazy, but it really does work, and that's usually the first and least invasive thing that we can do. If for some reason that doesn't work, plan B is doing what's called a version. It's called an external cephalic version, which is where you come into the hospital, we put a lot of jelly all over your belly, and physically and mechanically try and turn the baby, force it into a somersault and turn the baby around. If the acupuncture doesn't work, and you know, last case scenario is if nothing works and the baby's still breached, we don't deliver breached babies anymore, so you would need to have a C-section. A C-section is actual surgery. You don't get to get up and walk away from that you have six weeks to repair yourself i'll get you his number and you guys can start going to acupuncture as soon as possible you can call and see if he can see you absolutely so ricky and i honestly leave frantic we're frantic we have the number for the acupuncture we we don't want to waste a minute it's great what time can he see us and the longer it gets that the baby stays breech the more unlikely he will turn back ricky nice to meet you I'm going to teach you how to do moxa, which you'll do at home, and Ricky, this will be your job primarily. Sure. That consists of burning moxa at the at the pinky toes, which simulates the point. I want the heat to be warm, for bordering on uh, hot. And I'm going to do a few needles also that will increase circulation to the uterus. Take a few deep breaths and just relax as much as possible. Uh, the idea here is we want to increase circulation to the uterus, thus relaxing the uterus, while also stimulating points on the feet to help the baby rotate. He sees success all the time. He sees babies turn within three or four appointments. So I'd also recommend you see one of our chiropractors. And the idea there is uh, they're going to work on the surrounding tissue, the muscle, the ligaments, to, to relax those. So same thing I'm doing, but more from a mechanical perspective. As soon as he said chiropractor, I was in. I'm like, can I go? Let's go. I'm going to be working on your hip flexors. Okay. So again, these are the muscular that is often tight and can have a pushing or lifting motion on the uterus. It's intense, but it feels like it's relieving at the same time, if that makes any sort of sense. Am I confident that all of these uh, alternative methods will work? Will actually turn this baby around? I don't know. Well, thank you You're so, so much. Welcome. So being told that the baby was breech, the first feeling is complete failure. And then having her give us the option of acupuncture, moxa. Can you feel that? Yeah. I feel a, an unbelievable sense of faith. Like, this could actually work. If it's worked for all of those women, 70% of their cases, then why won't it work for me? I think the hardest thing to do is to be relaxed. I just want to know he's healthy. That's the bottom line. And if he turned, that will be a bonus. All right, let's take a peek. Are you a good kid? <laughs> you are a good kid. Look at that. Can you see that? That's his head. <gasps> oh, my God. I... And he's just, he's down where that's he was. His, yep, that's his brain. <laughs> he's there. He's, He's got a lot of brains. It's really unlikely at this point that the baby's going to turn around again. So we'll plan on a vaginal delivery, and we just now wait until you go into labor. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. To think that he turned all the way around again blows my mind. crazy. Congratulations. <laughs> all right, we've waited long enough. Obviously, 
she can't fly because the day is almost here, but via Skype is our baby mama, Greta. Where are you, G? Hi, G. Hi, G. You look beautiful. I know, I miss you so much. Oh, there's baby daddy wearing his baby daddy holster. I love that. Seriously, he has Honestly. a holster. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? How you feeling? But does he really need to wear it this early, Rach? I know, I know. Look, look. <laughs> Love it. Oh, and there's the baby dog. There's my girl, Elle. How's Ellie? Ellie? Come see Auntie Rach. Oh, oh she's good. She's sleep deprived. That's right. I bet you are too, huh? I am, but you know, I mean, it's it gets you when you just think it can't get any worse. You're like, oh my god, last night was pretty tough. It's been a long time since you've slept on your stomach or even your side, right? And I love sleeping on my stomach. That's the way I sleep now. I sleep like I'm I'm propped up. I think it looks like um. I don't, I don't even want to say what it looks like. I'm all <laughs> propped up, I'm straight, and I sit there and look at the ceiling and think, I, I can't do this. Is this forever? And my girlfriend's telling me it's forever. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So how close are you, right? You're down to like the last five, six weeks, right? Exactly, six, six weeks, a little less. So we're getting there. You get nervous? So nervous, freaked out. This house is, you see him, he's pacing. <laughs> Honestly, he's got wearing the tool belt. I don't know where he thinks he's going. <laughs> he's trying to give Ellie attention. That thing he was carrying looks like a Muppet. That's the dog. <laughs> What's left to do? Anything? Is it all? Everything's all oh. in place? Honestly, Rachel, I just, I don't know. Everything I read, I just started reading again. Because I didn't want to read and make myself nervous and be right. all sorts of crazy about it. So I just started picking up the book again, and every time I go to a chapter, I go, oh, I didn't do that. Oh, my God. I, it's bad. I mean, we are probably, I don't know. We have, I mean, I, I don't have a baby bag packed. Apparently, I should have done that three months ago. <laughs> he woke up this morning. Well, he was already awake because I kept him awake all night. And he, I came out, and Ricky goes, if you don't make that appointment for the hospital, I'm going to freak out. <laughs> it's going to be worse for you if you don't make it now. I need to tour the hospital. I don't even know where we're going. Aw. So we're, we're, we're gotta, you got to get our act together. You better get your act we're together. In, we're in big trouble, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds pretty bad. I'd help you, but you're all the way over there and all. So I, I want to see the little fella. We saw him last time in your stomach. Stand up and show us the bump to bump. Are you really ready? I want to see. I don't know if the screen will fit this. <laughs> Woo! Hi. Hello, little fella. Did you guys pick out a name yet? Oh, uh, we only have about 50 or 60 names. <laughs> Who knows? Ricky says he wants to see the child first, and then he'll decide. Really? Really, Moondoggy? Come on. Come on. All right, you let us know when you decide. We miss you. Come see us soon. Bring the little guy in. Yeah.